What's up, Mad25 Gamers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the sub-416 formation out of the Chicago Bears playbook. I like the sub-linebackers in at defensive ends. I put my defensive ends at defensive tackles in this situation. Uh, this is more of a heavy pass rushing package we like to use to get pressure on our opponent. The player we're going to be taking a look at today is the Sugar 3 Seam. It's uh, one of the better plays in the game because it's so simple to set up the pressure, and uh, that's why I feel really good about breaking it down on today's Blitz of the Day segment. What you want to do to set up the pressure out of this formation, we want to base a line and press, and that's all we need to do. Now, if you want to, you can quarterback contain both defensive linemen on the left side of the screen, and the pressure is going to come in hot off the right edge. And as I say that, it doesn't come in. Um, as you, uh, One of the main keys to this blitz real quick, uh, and that's kind of a perfect realization here, this uh, guy right here, he's got to stay right here. Um, or what you could do, you could simply just re-blitz him if you want to, but it's an extra step. So, you just want to make sure, because if he backs up like this, you're going to see when he backs up, that's what makes the blitz not work. And he's not going to be that exaggerate, but it's going to be a little minor minor backup, and sometimes that will happen. And then you saw that happen on the first play. So, if you want to just be sure, you can always just re-blitz him, and then you're going to see him. I mean, the contains will work. It's just that blitz angle is kind of tender. Uh, that's the one problem I think I foresee with this blitz is it's, it's not 100% because of the blitz angle. So you could just simply re-blitz him yourself if you wanted it to. See right there, you see how he backed up? No, he needs to be right on the hip, okay? So just just know that, okay? And uh, you're going to see here at the snap of the ball, we're going to get that pressure off the right edge. So this is one of the better plays in the game because of how easy it is to set up. And uh, if you really wanted to get uh, really effective with this blitz, you could quarterback spy both guys on the left side of the screen, slide Bowman in and make him look like you're blitzing, maybe shift the linebacker to the left or something. You could do a, a lot of things with this formation. The sub-416 is actually one of the more effective defenses you have in Madden NFL 25. So appreciate you guys checking out this blitz real quick. We'll show you how to stop it. Um, if the opponent blocks a running back, it's going to stop this blitz, unfortunately. Um, that's one of the problems with the BC. Uh, pressure gets picked up, but again, you're only sending f uh, five guys at the quarterback. So you'll have six guys in coverage, and uh, six versus uh, four wide receivers is going to be um, really good. And there you see Jennings is going to come up with the interception. So thank you guys for checking out today's Blitz of the Day segment, and we're going to be coming at you with the Scheme of the, scheme of the Week segment a little later. Uh, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have any, um, if you have any desire to learn more about Madden 25, uh, by the way, that I teach it. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And real quick, uh, this is kind of an, a, a, a quick thing. I'm going to start saying it in the rest of my videos. But um, I need to know what you guys need. Uh I need to know. I need to know how I can structure my content in ways that you can understand it. Um, and that's one of the biggest issues right now. Is I I want to have really good defensive tips and really good offensive tips to share, but I'm kind of struggling right now with communicating them to you because some of you guys don't. Uh, you don't always understand what I'm saying, and. And I know that it's hard for you guys because it's like, yeah, I don't know what the crap this guy's saying. And it's hard for me because it's like, I don't know, like, I don't want to, I don't want to dumb it down. Uh, because I, you know, I just want, I want you guys to have the best tips out. Uh, but I'm going to try to do a better job of that. And I uh, hope you guys can help me with that. And what you can do to help me with that is let me know specifically what you need help with in Man 25. Is it defense? And not just specifically defense, but is it defensive uh, pass rush? Is it defensive zone coverage? Is it defensive blitzing? Is it run defense? Is it just the you don't know how to play the game at all? And I'm going to take all the responses from the rest of the, this uh, whole week's video, and I'm going to create a whole new layout for my YouTube channel to try to account for that and try to actually start helping people be better at the game. Uh, I know I've helped some people, but I want to help everybody. So thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to help me out by doing that. If you're new to the YouTube channel, let me know what you need, what you're looking for in Man 25, what you're looking for in a YouTube channel, and I will try to provide the best content I can. Thanks for watching today, guys. We'll see you later.